I'm not going to keep you long because I've really only got one thing to say. There it is. All the world is mad. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Hope you've enjoyed it. Well, I'll put a bit of detail on it, like, but pretty much that's it. And you know, what? one of the great breakthroughs is when you realize, as you awaken, it's the world that's freaking mad, not you. That's the breakthrough. And so we have, um, I love this, I tried being normal once, it, it was the worst five minutes of my life. And, and uh, if you're considered sane and credible and normal to a world that is insane, then you've got a problem. So, welcome to the crazy ones today, to Wembley and from around the world. As Chris Murdy said, it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And this uh, great guy, Frederick Douglass, a great campaigner in America against uh, slavery. I prefer to be true to myself, even at the hazard of incurring ridicule, don't know what that's like, uh, rather than to be false and incur my own abhorrence. When it is uncomfortable, when it is unpopular, even when it is dangerous to speak the truth, is precisely the time that truth should be spoken. And this is precisely the time. And uh, it's, uh, it's, very, uh, it's very easy, it's a great saying this, not mine. It takes nothing to join the crowd, it takes everything to stand alone. That's when the true self expresses itself. And standing alone also in a world of clinical insanity. When crazy is the new norm. And if you're not crazy to the system, then you are not, uh, you are not playing the game of the system and it takes some standing up with all the tidal wave of pressure to conform and that's an image you're gonna see quite a lot of because this world is mad because it's run by crazy people not only people as we would perceive human people it is run by crazy uh, other kinds of people in other kinds of dimensions and what you have is these crazes, this force of crazy, which is operating behind the scenes where no one sees it, and anyone mentions it, you're mad, they don't exist. And putting up front, out in the world that we see, are more bloody crazies. We call these people politicians, for instance. Um, crazy people who think that uh, bombing, pepper bombing cities of civilians is protecting them from violence. Did I miss something? There's, there's Hillary, another one of them, another crazy, wants to kill everybody and maim and slaughter. And then, these are some crazies. These, these are the people that lend us money that doesn't exist and charges interest on it. But who's crazier than them? We stand for it! Enough! Enough of standing for the crazies! We have doctors who are arbiters of life and death, health and ill health, who don't even know what the human body is, never mind how it works. Mind you, the, the, the drug companies will tell them that's enough. We have babies in the first 18 months of life with their immune system still developing being hit by a tidal wave of poison and shite and the world isn't crazy we have teachers telling young people to believe what they were programmed to believe and what they must teach if they're going to keep their job in a state imposed curriculum 
dictating what's right and wrong, historically true, and all the rest of it. So we turn out young kids, bright wonder of the world, this new world they're in, bright thinking, imaginative kids, and we put them through a sausage machine and turn them out the other end. And I tell you what, the very fact that so many young people are waking up and seeing the system despite going through this shows the power of consciousness over programming. And, uh, and then we have religions. Everyone to their own, but I personally think it's crazy within the greatness and infinity of forever to believe that all you need to know is between the covers of uh, uh, one book written by who knows who, who knows when, in who knows what circumstances and changed and manipulated by who knows who in the time between then and now. I think that's just a bit crazy. And then we have uh, the crazies called scientists, most of whom spend their time not exploring the, the mysteries of reality, but in devising more and more effective ways to technologically kill more and more people and to poison more and more people through food additives and drugs. I think that's crazy. All the stuff. And then we've now got to crazy where in airports around America and some other places and they want it play, uh, play it out everywhere. When you get on an aeroplane, you've got the choice between being irradiated or sexually molested, <laughs> including your kids. And they say, I'm mad. Did I miss something? And, and then uh, all the time we've got more and more surveillance. This, this plaque here says George Orwell lived here. And now, do you see that story the other week? More than 200 schools in Britain have got surveillance cameras in the frigging toilets and changing rooms. The world, crazy is just not the word. Have you come across these Intelli Streets? They're now introducing them. Intelli Streets, they have um, not only the ability to uh, bark out orders to you through the technology involved, but they can not only listen into your conversations in the street, they can record the buggers. And then they've got all this kit in the sky. We have uh, legislation now in America, land of the free, where the president can uh, and the military can arrest anyone they want and keep them without charge or trial or public evidence when they think they are a suspected terrorist. Who decides that? The people that can arrest them. And then we have Mr. Nobel Peace Prize. I, I collapsed once in a hotel room. And I woke up, I wondered what the hell was going on, and I, I got my kind of mind together, and I thought, what happened? And I thought, well, the telly was on on the news, and the last thing I remember hearing on the news was Barack Obama's won the Nobel Peace Prize, and then it all went bloody black. I mean... <laughs> Mind, mind you, Nobel, what did he do? He made explosives or weapons, I guess, you know, topsy-turvy world. And now he can sign lists, does all the time, and then they go and kill people, including American citizens, uh, without anything uh, in terms of a judicial process. And this is the craziest thing, isn't it? The biggest terrorists on planet Earth live in the... Uh, political centers of power like Downing Street and Washington, the biggest terrorists on earth have the nerve to run a war on terror. All they need is a friggin' mirror. This wonderful, wonderful picture. You, you talk to people through your life. How many people want war? How many people want to see people slaughtered? Some morons, yes, but how many? Very few compared with the population. We don't want war, but we have them. 
one after the other after the other because the crazies want them. We have given our power, human race, to the crazies who sit in front of computer screens in Air Force bases, in places like Nevada, and they press their buttons and thousands of miles away their drone aircraft send out missiles. Oh, I've got one, Bill. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the next level now. And this is what's happening at the other end. Thousands of civilians being killed. This world is insane. We have, because of a cold, calculated recruitment over a long period of time now, an increasingly brutal police force. We have people being arrested in America for feeding the homeless when people are hungry, starving, and living in tents and cars. What will I grow up to be, mummy? That's a bloody question worth asking when we look at where we are compared with where they want to take us. The future is here. You know, I, I've been standing on stages, not as big as this one, but I've been standing on stages and writing books for all these bloody years saying this Orwellian fascist dictatorship is coming. Not because I'm a prophet, no, no, but because if you can access a projected agenda and where it wants to take the world, then if nothing intervenes to stop it, it's going to happen. That makes predicting the future a piece of cake. There's nothing to it, as long as you know where they want to take us. And the media, well, they ain't going to tell us any of this stuff, the mainstream media, because they're owned by the crazies. Here's a news bulletin for you. There you go. Here's the latest news. Good evening, this is the news, the headlines tonight. Bollocks, 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 shit. Now here's Bill with the weather. That's it. That's it. That's it. You clap, you're awake. Right. Or you wouldn't bloody be here. But vast numbers of people get their minds from this crap. And therefore, they become increasingly as crazy as the crazies that are feeding it to them. This is Black Friday. Have you ever seen this Black Friday in America? It's the first day of Christmas shopping. What they do to get it going is they put all these little lost leaders with things were, you know, very, very cheap and, and they open the stores about 4 a.m. in the morning and there are thousands of people all lining up in the dead of night to get, to get this bargain. Oh, I must have that lemon squeezer, 80 cents out of my way or I shoot. And it's, it's a, a situation we had again in America where they had riots at a Nike training shoe launch because there wasn't enough to go round. And a few people can't control the world. It's a piece of cake. Not only in America, look at it in Britain. iPhone 5, Q hysteria in London. Work, buy, consume, die. Work, buy, consume, die. That's the program they want us to believe in. And so, while all these diversions, in and of themselves, a little bit of pleasure, as long as you keep the peripheral vision, it's all right. But when they take your entire focus, these are hiding the peripheral vision where the real deal goes on. And they make people like flies or moths round a, a light on a porch. They're so mesmerized by the diversion, they don't see the guy creeping up behind them with a swatter to smack them on the ass. That's where humanity is. Oh, come on, come on, X Factor's on. Oh, that's good. Oh, there you go. Price is right, son. Oh, there you go. And it's gone on generation after generation. So there is a connection here, a connection across the generations of the human family in all its glorious expressions that has been keeping us in a hypnotic trance 
believing total bollocks, believing it to be real.